Hello everyone, I hope you all doing well. So following up on a video I did a few months ago, where we learned the method of site analysis. I'm going to show you how to upgrade this analysis and to draw and use a proper site plan instead of a Google Maps image as we used in the previous video. I recommend you watch the first site analysis video before you see this one. So an easy way of doing this is to upload the Google Maps picture into AutoCAD and use it as a guideline to draw your map. You'll be drawing your plan on top of the picture, but first we need to put it to the correct scale. We're going to do that by taking a measurement from Google Maps and use it to scale up or scale down the picture. It could be of a building, pavement, anything you'd like. If you have visited your site and took measurements, it's better using them instead for more accuracy. But it's okay if the scale is not correct at this point because we're going to correct measurements at the end of the drawing anyway. So I start drawing up the plan on top of the picture, as I said, using it as a reference. And you can always finish whatever you miss later on when this picture is gone. As you can see, you can't see the lines you are drawing, so you'll just have to remember. Now that I've finished drawing, I'll delete this picture and here is the plan. The next step is to correct the measurements. Because as you can see, the picture gets blurry when you zoom in. So we weren't able to draw it to the correct dimensions. If you visited the site and took measurements, you start off by using those. And if you took pictures of the neighbourhood, you can use them to figure out dimensions by maybe counting bricks and multiplying and multiplying it by the dimension of the brick or counting pavement tiles. And also, depending on what type of road you have, you'll know its width. But keep in mind that the road width might vary from country to country. I will not be doing this step because I have not visited the site in order to take measurements and I'm only doing this analysis to demonstrate this method to you. So after you correct it and the plan is all ready, we need to put in all the hatches and symbols concerning our analysis. For this you could use whatever software or method you'd like. PowerPoint as I showed you in the previous video, Photoshop maybe, or even print it out and draw by hand. And for more explanation regarding this step, check my previous site analysis video, you'll find the link in the description box. Now here's our final result for the site analysis diagram. I hope this has been helpful and any questions just drop them in the comments section. And thank you for watching.